Hi everybody, Sarah here. Welcome to Sarah's Corner. This is episode one. Um, this is going to be just a um, podcast, blog, vlog, whatever you want to call it, on what I'm up to, what's on the needles, what's on the hooks, what's going on, all that fun stuff. So, let's see. I got me a cup of almond tort coffee that my daughter got me. Thank you, Gretchen. Love this stuff. It's awesome. It's a little chilly outside, so I'm having some coffee. Should probably have some tea, but I'm having coffee. Um, and, of course, got my co-host Rupert here. Oh, thank you, baby boy. Uh, he's going to help me out, as he always does. Um, so let's get started. First off is um, what's on the needles. And first on the needles, I have it right here is a scarf, I'm sorry about that, I didn't mean to have to bend over, um, is a scarf that I'm making for my daughter, and I had everything right here, and I guess I'm just going to have to pull everything out. I thought I had everything on the uh, table, but guess what, imagine that, my unpreparedness, um, is first, and it's a free pattern, it is the Caswell Scarf by Janet Cohen, and it's a fairly easy one. And I am making it for my daughter. She asked me for a, a scarf, so um, I found one, and I kind of like it. It's on uh, Red Heart Super Saver, right here. Ooh, God, look at that glare. Let's see if we can do this without the glare. And it is medium time. I love this color. And every single skein that I've ever used of this particular color has been so soft and squishy. It's not, it doesn't feel as rough as a lot of the Super Saver does. But um, I am working this scarf on size US 7, 4.5 millimeter needles. And I'm using uh, circular. I prefer circulars. I'm a fairly new knitter, but it seems that I just prefer them already. And I've got this much done. I am getting ready to go into the cabling part. I just have to um, get off my butt and do it. Especially since now it's kind of cold, I'm sure that she would like to get her sweater um, a little bit sooner. Uh, the second thing is I am on square, let me see, number six. And I have, I think, six stripes done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six stripes done. I've got two more to do. I'm really enjoying this pattern. I love it. It just works up so easy and it's so relaxing. I can do it when I'm chit-chatting or just watching TV or whatever and I don't have to worry about it. Um, I, I really, really uh, like this pattern a lot. And um, also what is on my hooks is um, I have decided and I have started doing a pair of socks. Any of you that know me know that socks are my nemesis. I have tried to crochet them. I've got three quarters of one done and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's I get to where the heel is supposed to be and I go into panic mode or what. But, um, sorry for the noise, that's Rupert. Um, but I've decided they are not going to defeat me. And I am doing the plain vanilla socks. This is also a free pattern. Um, 
And this particular one is a pattern by Nitty Gritty Thoughts. Um, it's for, it seems to be pretty easy. I've, I'm about an inch and a half in. And, oops, I'm, oh my goodness, I am just tangled all up. Well, that's okay. I think you can probably see it. Um, and I am really, really liking doing this. Of course, I'm still on the cuff, so <laughs> who knows what happens then. And I'm doing this on size 2, 2.75 millimeter needles. And I am using, um, this is the skein for the other sock. Um, it is Premier Yarns wool free sock yarn and it is in the colorway grapes and i love this this is so soft and i love it. it's got you know a little bit of, it's got stretch to it um it's really really pretty it's kind of got purples green lavender just gorgeous love it um really excited to be doing the socks so let me put this over here so I can get this back in here. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully I'll be able to get those done. Now, forgive me, I am looking at my, my notes that I made. Um, let's see. Okay, don't really have much off the needles this week. Um, I have... I don't think I've shown this to you before. Maybe maybe I did show it to you last time. I don't know. I have square number five for the log cabin. And as you can see, no, my ends are not sewn in yet because um, I'm going to have to do a border and then attach um, to the, the rest of the squares and whatnot. But um, I got square number five done. And the log cabin is being done... And it's mostly Vanish Choice and Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, just various colors. Some of these, you know, I'm like, this I believe is Dusty Purple. Um, this is maybe a Dusty Green. Um, but, you know, a lot of these, like, I don't know. It's a Super Saver. Didn't even have a ball band or anything on it, so I'm not sure what color it is um, the, this uh, this I do know is gray heather even though it doesn't look like it in there yeah, but it is it's kind of gray um, and that's all I really got off the needles this week uh, I haven't lately seemed to have as much time as I would like to get anything done it's kind of frustrating for me too because it's kind of my relax not want to choke anybody out kind of thing um so you know hey uh, we'll hopefully get more done this week uh, I have a couple of webinars um, while training things for um, work this week so hopefully I'll be able to maybe while I'm listening and watching the presentations maybe get a little bit done on the uh, log cabin the socks mm, maybe not because I have to really concentrate on those I do two or three rows at a time and that's about you know that's about it because I'm really trying hard to do them right um, so maybe we'll see what happens with those now Let's see. I don't have anything else there, so let's see. Um, I am thinking about, of course, as we all do, what's going to go on the needles next when I cast something else on. Because, as everybody, you, you can't have too many projects on the hooks, on the needles, or whatnot. Um, I'm looking for a an easy um, beginner sweater. I really would like to do a sweater. Um, I think I found a couple patterns. I'm not sure yet, so I'm not going to show those. But if 
any of you guys have a good idea on a beginner sweater, um, just leave it in the, you know, comment section. I'd love to see your ideas on what you all would think would be a good one. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to be doing another poncho. This is the perfect time of year for ponchos. I love ponchos. I love to wear ponchos. Um, I've made probably six or eight of them. A couple for me, a couple for family members, and like that. Um, but other than that, I'm not sure what I want. I'm sure maybe another scarf. I'm finding that I don't mind doing the scarves. I thought, just, even just with that little bit, I thought, oh, God, I'll get bored. But so far, I haven't, so we'll see what happens. Um, maybe I'll make a, a scarf for the hubby. Um, we'll see what happens. But other than that, um, that's about it. Oh, no. Actually, there's one thing, and it's not in my notes. Um, stash enhancement. Favorite part, right? Um, I had to get some new needles. I had a really, really long cable on uh, one of the socks. And I mean, I looked at it and they, at the directions and they said, get this humongous circular. And I had the 16 inch knit picks and I went and got this one, like they said, and I was like, oh my God, what a pain. I just, ah. Uh, so I went and I got two of the Susan Bates circulars, uh, size 2, 2.75. And the reason you don't see any needles in here is because they're in the sock. Um, I got two of these. I only put one in because, quite frankly, I kind of like having the little bit shorter one and the other one so I can have a better idea of where I'm at and not get mixed up with the needles as I'm going around. And, of course, what else did I get? Um, oops, excuse me. I got yarn. Um, and I got it at Joann's. I saw this and I had to get it because I just thought it was so pretty. And I got three skeins. Usually I just get two skeins. I got three skeins of this and this is for screen heather it is lion brand wool ease and it to me oh the, the camera is not doing this justice i love this this is gorgeous um and it's so soft um i also got some of the karen united and this was on clearance this, this was like $1.97 a ball. This is orchid. It's and it's such a vibrant purple. I mean almost like a royal purple. It is not really showing up on the camera what it is. But and this is soft. I got some of the green and it was so stiff and I, I it was like eh. But I like the color. And um, it just felt very hard. This doesn't. It feels very soft. Um, I also got a um, another one of the Karen United. And this one is the Burgundy. And it just, it, it really is not showing up on camera. Then I got a third one because they were they were on clearance. They were all a dollar ninety seven. The dark gray heather. And see that I just don't know why it's not showing up. And I really like the Karen United. Um, you know my my son's in the military. My ex, my current. Yeah, there's so, my brother. There's so many military members uh, in my family that. I just think it's great that 15 cents of each skein goes into um, a college for children that have, have lost their one of their parents or both in the war. And then finally, this was on sale too. This was 4.97, dollars 
And this is the Burnett um, blanket. And it is the colorway, let's see, Lilac Leaf. I have no idea why it says anything about lilac in it because, and you can't really see, oh, that looks the best. It's gray, white, and green. There is no lilac color in here at all. But I thought I would get this and maybe make Rupert a baby, a baby blanket, a um, bed or blanket because he likes to sleep under the blankets and he quite frankly steals my covers. So I thought I, that's nice and soft and it's a neutral color. So I just thought that that would be nice for him. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to crochet him his own little blanket. So maybe he will leave my blankets alone. Uh, not likely, but nice try, I guess. So other than that, um, that's about it. Uh, oh my goodness, I hope I don't have to re-record this because it is 16 minutes long. Um, I think that's the longest video I've done. Hmm. Well, um, I will let you guys get back to your knitting, crocheting, cross-stitching, whatever craft it is that you do. And... I hope you're enjoying it, and I hope you have an awesome, awesome day, and I will be back soon. Bye, guys.